That also uh, came to mind, uh, somebody I read about Alexander the Great, that before a very important battle, he had this general, forgive me, I forgot the general's name, and he would ask him about his advice, about what I should do tomorrow in the battle. And so Alexander would be hearing very carefully to the, the, his general, and then during the battle do completely the opposite. Yeah? And then, of course, Alexander's thinking was, so I know that the enemy would be thinking exactly this, in the same way as my general, because he's a traditionalist, yeah? And what Alexander wanted to, to do was to do a surprise attack, something unexpected. Um, I'm not, by the way, I'm not asking you to do what Alexander was doing, but because that's very dangerous, or to be in the position of that general, okay? But, um, but probably something you, you may be, you have to deal with as a practitioner, okay? How to be right, you know? um, Well, it's, it's wonderful to be here sharing with you this moment, okay? Uh, and also it's a, a, it's a great honor to be, to speak on behalf of your teachers, okay? First of all, again, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, you made it. Well done. You deserve to celebrate and be celebrated tonight. Um, also, congratulations for um, special thanks for the parents, the relatives, and friends that supported you throughout all the, your studies at the Bay. So I would like a big applause to, the, to them. All of you here today uh, are very special to us. You are graduate candidates, right? And I say candidates because, you know, the, there is still this little thing, yeah, this pending thing, which is the, the dissertation, that you need to deal with that at some point. But I don't want to dwell in that, okay? So we, we want to celebrate today and not to be worried about, you know, writing any uh, dissertations and so on. Um, then I, when I came here, I was remembering when nine, nine months ago, the first time I met you as a group. So I remember the impression uh, you gave me, well, you were very, uh, a lot of anxiety, uncertainties, right? You were settled, trying to settle in, in Barcelona, visa problems, um, the rents in Barcelona so expensive, trying to find a, a room or a flat to share, okay? You didn't know each other. Okay, so I guess it was a bit of loneliness at the time. Um, you have to face, start seeing this economics course, okay, with this teacher and so on. And now look at you now, okay? I see at you today, and you're so full of confidence, right? Uh, you are very close friends, I guess, in my experience of you. And some of you are a bit more than friends, right? Um, you know Barcelona very, I mean, by heart. You could be work as a, as a tourist guide, yeah, particularly in Barcelona by night, right? <laughs> um, so it's wonderful to see you in that new mood. I mean, you, I think you, apart from going through your studies, you have grown up also as, as persons, right? What a, nine months can do for, a, for you, right? Um, so I guess uh, there is a question probably going through your mind, you know, probably not today, but in the, in the coming days. I mean, what is going to happen next? What is going to happen in the next five years down the road, right? Okay. So I say, well, today I want to give you some clues, some hints about, you know, answers to that question. And I, I, I have two sources, not only one source, two sources. Yeah? That may be contradictory, okay? The first source uh, is uh, my crystal ball. I got a crystal ball, and I, when I look at that crystal ball, I can see a brilliant future of you know, success and fulfillment for all of you, okay? But you may excuse me if I am biased with that, right? I got a second source, uh, which is more scientific, Right? And it comes out, uh, 
thrown a survey carried out by eBay uh, in September 2015, right, on graduates from the years 2010 to 2014, right? So they passed that, that survey asking for different things. Uh, and I want to give you some uh, key findings yeah, of that survey. Uh, response rate was 30%. So you, you need to take things with a grit of salt, uh, salt probably, right? But I think that will give you a good idea of what to expect, right? First, first the, 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 the good news for you and your parents, right? So times, the time between the job search and finding a job is less than a year. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, great. And then about 75% of the graduates yeah, will be in a full-time job. Yeah? So forget about that thing of you know, working two or three weeks here and the, the full-time jobs. And those jobs, the majority of those jobs will be in, in, in global institutions, uh, mostly private. Okay. That's more or less like giving an idea where may you may be, right, in, in three, uh, two, three, four years. Now the good news for the airlines. Okay. So two out of five of you are going to be working in a country which is not your birth of place. I think that's something you may already be expecting, yeah, be expecting, okay? So a lot of travel to do. So a lot of now the parents, you will need now to visit them in the new destination. So, so it's a way, a good way of doing tourism. Um, and then of course, on the question, um, I think probably you may, may have already that question in mind. How much will I be earning? How much? <laughs> Please, Pablo, how much? And, uh, Unfortunately, my crystal ball fails me completely in this. Yeah, so even though I'm good at economics and numbers, I mean, on, on the money, on the money you are going to be earning, I'm sorry, I cannot be much help, of much help, but I'm sure it's going to be a decent salary, enough to sustain you in your life, right? Okay, money aside, let, let me give you some, share with you some advice for the future. So I'm going to, now to read a bit because this is important. Yeah? I want to say exactly what is written. Right? I think you need to develop two qualities which will help you through life. One is ambition. The other is resilience. Those two qualities. Yeah? In my experience, those two qualities are crucial for success and fulfillment. So ambition. Ambition. Not in the negative sense, as in ruthless ad 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 admission, uh, ambition. Okay, no, no, please, no, not that ambition, right? But more positively, yeah, in terms of this sense of purpose, sense of purpose. You need to set goals and pursue them. Of course, as you will change, so they are bound to change too over time. But focusing on goals and ambitions is vital. Okay, in that process that is going to be is coming for you in the, in, in the coming years. And then resilience. I define as the capacity to recover from setbacks. There will be clouds in your way, as the uh, Johnny Mitchell's beautiful song, right? But if you fail, keep trying. If you fail again, try again. Okay, think of of uh, Thomas Edison, Edison's tribulations with the development of the electric light bulb. I don't know how many trials he did before get it, getting it right. right. And remember also Maria Angelou's words, okay? we may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. Right? And of course, the things that will keep you going through hard times is precisely focusing on your goals, right? So you need to remember all those goals, yeah? May, may, it may be changing. Remember that as a, as, a, uh, as a light, okay, that may guide you. Oh, let, let, me talk, uh, let me talk about success. It is usually said that the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary 
of course, the English dictionary, right? But things to, seems to be different nowadays with so many examples of young people that have made it without apparently putting, it, putting in too much effort. So we got the Silicon Valley billionaires, so like Zuckerman, yeah? singers without much talent. I mean, I'm sure you got many examples of that. And then the celebrities, okay? The celebrities, the Kardashians. When I wrote this, when I wrote this, my example was Paris Hilton. <laughs> and my wife told me, <laughs> people don't know her anymore. And Paris Hilton is now a very respectable woman, lady. So, and they said, they are not going to know what you are talking about, you know? Uh, you need to talk about the Kardashians. So, who, who, who are they? And then I did a bit of, you know, Google it, and, th and then, well, there is a, a bit of fresh air, a breeze of fresh air in my life. Now I, I know they exist. Uh, but keep things in, in perspective, and I still give some credit to that old wisdom in the dictionary. And keep in mind that success is always relative to your goals, to your goals, right? Whatever they may be. Okay? You need to define success in your terms. Otherwise, you're going to find, you are going to find it, finding it very frustrating and difficult, right? Regarding fulfillment, your career path is unlikely to be a straight line. You may try many roads until you discover your real vocation or where you would like to make your contribution. It takes time, it takes time. It took me, uh, myself, 30 years, probably, okay? I'm still, still trying to find it. And remember, is, uh, uh, remember Henri Rousseau, the French post-impressionist painter who only started painting at age 50, 50, right? After spending many years as, you may know, okay, as tax collector, okay? So, the, the message here is life is a long song, so don't give up on yourself, right? And it's never too late to change direction, as Rousseau did, yeah, when he said, what I want to do in life is to paint, okay, not to collect taxes for somebody else, okay? So let me also share some practical advice, some real things that will work for you. Right? I'm going to give you three tips for your work life. Number one, be a good team player. Okay? Support your colleagues and recognize their value. That's very important. Team player. I think uh, throughout your courses in eBay, you've done a lot of that, you know, building up that skill of team, being a team, good team player. Number two, keep learning, keep learning. Okay. Life is a constant process of developing new skills. Okay, that's also very important. Number three, and this is the most important of all, and it's something you are not going to be find, you are not going to find in books, right? Number three is whatever your job description, right? And avoid at all cost, at all cost, pissing off your boss. Never, okay? <laughs> Never piss your boss off. Focus on what she, he needs you to deliver and, 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 and deliver it. Don't piss him off or her off. Yeah, that's the more things that could happen at work. Yeah. So to finish off, I'm going to tell you a little story. A little story. Uh, it was it's a true story, right? It happened it was a couple of years ago. It was at this time of around this time of the year, it was a sunny morning, morning. I was coming, uh, I, was, I was in the train coming home to eBay, right? And at some point in that journey, a gypsy started to sing and, uh, and talk near where I was. He was more talking than singing, hoping to benefit from the generosity of the passengers. I was concentrating on reading something, in the newspaper, a book, okay? I wasn't paying much attention to the guy until, until he said the following. 
He said, they follow me. And he, I said in the original, right? He said, no canta el pájaro porque es feliz. El pájaro es feliz porque canta. Okay? So again, no canta el pájaro porque es feliz. El pájaro es feliz porque canta. Right? Meaning, in English, you know, the bird doesn't sing because he's happy. The bird is happy because he sings. So I think it's a very simple idea, but very powerful, very powerful, right? So I gave him an euro. Well, I think I may have been very mean. So that was worth at least a tenner or something, okay? So a euro. So, but I cannot go back. I mean, I haven't seen that chips again. But I, if I see it, I want to give more money on, on your behalf. But you need to follow his, his advice, right? Later on, because as a good academic, I said, well, I came in around my mind, that, that phrase, that quote, and, and I did a bit of research, and I found out that he was, he was paraphrasing a quote from an American philosopher, William James. Very similar. Yeah? So this is a, a thought I would like you to treasure. So happiness, happiness is a journey, not a destination. Okay? Again, I think it's a similar idea. I think that's, that's very important to bear always in mind. Okay? So please stay in touch with you, with each other, okay? and, with, and with us as well. Okay? As, as Jacin said at the beginning, if you come to Barcelona, stop by, uh, by eBay, we are always to be very pleased to see you and to know about you. Right? And most importantly, okay, you enjoy your celebrations tonight and in the coming days. You deserve it, and thank you very much.